I'm here at a donation centre at the University College of London, run by the students, and they're putting together vital supplies to help those affected by the awful tragedy in Turkey and Syria. Uh, we've been packing boxes, putting clothes, blankets, particularly for children, sanitary equipment and supplies. Those are the types of things that people need. It's hard to comprehend the scale of the tragedy that has unfolded in Turkey and in Syria. Almost 20,000 people have lost their lives, cities destroyed, and as a dad, I'm sure everyone has seen the pictures of parents trying to find their children, babies, toddlers from the rubble. I, I think those are images that will stay with all of us uh, for a long time. And that's why it's vital that we all do what we can to support Turkey and Syria at this time. I spoke to the president a couple of days ago to pledge our support. We've sent 77 search and rescue teams, something that we specialize in that's so vital in the first few days after a tragedy like this to help find people who are trapped in the rubble. Those teams are hard at work and we're going to continue providing all the support that we can. The disasters emerged Emergency Committee coordinates all the work of charities in the UK and what I say is if people uh, can give generously to that charity, the government has said, I've said that we will match every one of those donations pound for pound, so every pound that you give, the government will put in an extra pound and then we can use that funding to get extra humanitarian support to Turkey and Syria at a time that they desperately need it and I urge people to please give generously if they can.